What's up guys, Rich Monroe fan here, and today my Santa Fe 9-44CW has finally came in the mail. So let's get it out of the box and take a look at it. So here we have the engine outside of uh, the cardboard box that it came in. So pretty sure that this box opens like the other rallying locomotives. Um, it should just... This top part should just slide off. Oh, here we go. So, got some little plastic parts that you need to cut before you can get into it. So, it's going to slide my scissors right on under and cut it straight on open. Alright, so here we go. The uh, little plastic tape was holding the box from being opened, but... Here's the locomotive, Santa Fe, it's the old war bonnet. One of the greatest, or one of the biggest reasons why I like this locomotive, uh, actually haven't taken it out of the box yet, except for on camera, but one of the biggest reasons why I ordered this locomotive is because this is one of the locomotives that have the uh, ditch lights under, under the uh, walkway. So the ditch lights don't operate, unfortunately, but it's still going to be fun to operate. So, let's get it out of the plastic shell and onto the table. Alright, so here we have the locomotive out of the box. And i got to say, I am impressed. I haven't even seen this thing run yet. And it is already one of my favorite locomotives on the layout so far. I love the way that they made this locomotive. Compliments to Adam for this locomotive. It is beautiful. So, like I said, this is in the old uh, red, silver, and yellow paint scheme. This is the old Santa Fe Dash 944CW. So, Athern does really good on all the locomotives. When it comes to handrails, uh, steps, lighting, everything. Athern is just a good company to uh, order from. So, I would say if you're going to order a locomotive, get it from Athern. Anyway... Let me get the uh, pointer. So first thing I noticed is that we got these relatively big uh, windows. I like that about the locomotive. I like big windows on my locomotive for some reason. I just think that it brings out more realism. Moving down, we got very nicely done trucks. We got not the bearing caps don't spin uh one thing that i think they should uh, start doing got a nicely mounted horn exhaust stack uh nicely done vents a lot of realism goes into these locomotives from Avon. uh like i said this is number 606 um nicely done fuel tanks i like how they do the individual ones down here on these locomotives and uh moving to the front of the locomotive handrails are all done very nicely um let's see as you can see these are the ditch lights that are on the uh on the bottom they don't operate unfortunately i might make them operate one day but for now uh they don't operate this will just be a trailing unit i guess uh, we got the number boards up there. I'm guessing they light up. Uh, operating front light. Uh, that's an operating door light. Got the door. Nice handrails. Got nose railings up here. Let's see. Uh, nicely done chain. Got the uh, handrails. There are one, two, three, four, five steps. We got snow plows. Now, we don't have hoses. Um, kind of bummed out about that. I was expecting there to be hoses that come through under the uh, snow pile. Anyway, let's move to the back of the locomotive. Okay, looking at the back, uh, we don't have number boards, but we do have 606 right here. So I have to face 606. Um, operating back headlight. Uh, Got handrails right here going up the back of the locomotive. Once again, five steps up. Uh, handrails, not too flimsy. Something I forgot to mention on the front. 
You got the uh, mostly done adder and spring couplers. Uh, no snow plow on the back, of course. You don't usually get snow plows on the back of your locomotives from pretty much any uh, locomotive industry. But anyway, not much to see here on the back of the locomotive. But without further ado, I'll give one more quick spin around and then we'll get them on the track. Alright, here we go. We got the locomotive on the tracks. So, in total, I'd say this is about a two pound locomotive. Uh, not too heavy. Uh, just seeing this locomotive on the layout makes me happy because I've been waiting a couple weeks on this locomotive to arrive. Um, not that much wobble at all. I love the way they did the uh, silver trucks. Nicely done. A lot of uh, details. See there, you got the uh, F right here resembling, I mean, front of the locomotive. And already on the front, that's uh, the locomotive description. That little sign right there is for the locomotive company, what made it. Uh, it appears to be General Electric. Um, and then you got some lettering up here beside it. And just stuff that... Just compliments the locomotive. Details everywhere. I love this locomotive already and we haven't even run it. Alright, so let's see the, lo the uh, lighting on this locomotive. So first I'm going to run it forward for y'all. To see the uh, forward, forward run lighting. So, here we go. Alright, now that I ran it forward, I will turn it around and run it backwards. Okay, here's the locomotive's reverse headlight coming at y'all now. Okay, so from what I saw, pretty good lighting. So, let's hook him up to a train and get a few quick run by. Okay, so we've got it hooked up to a pretty big train just to see how uh, good its pulling power is. So without further ado, let's get it going. Okay, so today I have been impressed once again from Adern. Big thank you to Adern for uh, sending me this product. I love this locomotive and 
in the future you will see this locomotive running on the layout a lot more this this uh, locomotive will be used for locals intermodal trains DPUs trailing locomotives everything uh, anyway without further ado I think this will wrap up the video if you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see y'all guys in the next video thank you for watching and I'll see y'all later